Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of what's new in Adobe Premiere Pro in the new spring 2019 updates. The first one that's probably one of the most major is new updates to the way that you manage your project media. So traditionally, this is the project media bin, you know, whenever you drag stuff in there, this is kind of how you sort through it. And this is the icon view. But now in this new update, they've uh, added this freeform view, and it allows you to kind of drag and rearrange things kind of like you would on your desktop icons. So if I had this clip, I could move it over here. Let's say if I wanted to put it in order somehow, plain, trees. And you can organize and arrange your clips in kind of a freeform way, which might be helpful for a lot of us. A big part of editing is organization and preparing the media. So this is a welcome addition in my opinion. And you can take what you've organized or storyboarded so far and just drag it onto the timeline to get some actual editing work done. And it'll be in the order that you arranged it. So that could definitely help out. Next, we've got some new tools for adding text and titles. So if I were to just grab my type tool and add a title like normally, we still have all the same somewhat new updates with the, the essential graphics and all, but there's a few new things like adding strokes. You can add multiple strokes now. And the other big one is if you head over to the settings by clicking this little wrench icon, you can show rulers and guides now kind of like we've always been able to do in Photoshop, but now we have this tool in Premiere Pro. So you can drag down guides and now you can work with your text and make them snap to these guides in different ways. So it allows you to get a little bit more uniformity if you're trying to add multiple titles in the same exact place. So that's all in this little settings menu. You can show the guides or hide them, or you can even clear what you've added so far if you don't want them. If you go to view, guide templates, you have the option to save your guides as templates. So if you have a specific one that helps in a certain workflow, you can save it and always access it there. Lastly, we have some new sound and audio tools kind of taken from Adobe Audition, but they're available in Premiere Pro. Let's say you're working with dialogue and background sound effects or ambience. If you head over to the essential sound panel and label that as ambience here so you can start editing, you can now choose to auto duck. So ducking is when the audio will kind of duck or dip down in level and get quieter if something else is talking over it. So if I turn that on, I have some few options to duck against dialogue or music or no audio type specifically. But for example, this clip here, I can set it as dialogue. And so this one will recognize that. And you can just choose a few settings like sensitivity, amount of ducking, and duration of fading in and out. And if I generate keyframes here, you can see what happens. This is just a very short example clip. I'm sure it's going to need fine tuning. It's not going to be perfect every time. But as I'm talking, it'll kind of be quiet. And then it sees that I'm not talking as much here. So it kind of brings the ambience level up again. And you can always manually adjust things as well. Those are the major updates for Adobe Premiere Pro in the spring 2019 update. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I have tons of tutorials, always posting new videos. And there's some more updates for After Effects, which I'll be posting a video about as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.